Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today I have prepared a very easy problem for you. And here is the problem. A true breeding tall plant is crossed with a true breeding dwarf plant. The offspring in the F1 generation are all tall plants. The F1 generation is then crossed to yield F2 generation. What is the phenotypic ratio of the F2 generation? So first of all, uh, what true breeding means? Imagine that we have two alleles, allele A that is uh, dominant and A that is recessive. These two alleles can make in diploid organism following um, genotypes capital A, capital A, capital A, small a, and small a, small a. And for example, dominant allele A uh, means normal allele and uh, recessive allele A means that this allele would produce defective protein that wouldn't be as efficient as a normal protein. So in this case, in simple Mendelian genetics, we would have here tall plant. Here we also would have tall plant. And here we would have short plant. So once again, in simple Mendelian genetics, heterozygous genotype uh, phenotypically would be the same as homozygous dominant. And uh, these two genotypes we call true breeding. Because if we self-pollinate these plants, all the progeny also would be tall. And if we self-pollinate this plant, uh, all the progeny also would be small. So true breeding. But if we self-pollinate this uh, genotype, we would see that some of the plants would be tall and some of the plants would be short. So only these two we call true breeding. So what we know, we know that we cross a uh, true breeding tall plant with uh, true breeding a small plant so or dwarf plant so as you see if we cross um, one parent who is going to be homozygous dominant with another parent who is going to be homozygous recessive in the F1 generation so um, this is going to be a parental generation and this is going to be the progeny uh, which we call F1 generation. So genotype is going to be as follows. Capital A small a here, capital A small a here, capital A small a here, and capital A small a here. So 100% of the uh, F1 generation going to be plants, genotypically going to be heterozygous, phenotypically going to be the same as a parent that is um, capital A, capital A. So the same uh, phenotype. And uh, if we self-pollinate F1 generation, that means that uh, one parent have to be heterozygous, another parent also have to be heterozygous in the following F2 generation, we are going to get following ratios of the genotypes and phenotypes. So capital A, capital A here, capital A, small a here, capital A, small a here, and small a, small a here. So as you see, three quarters would be phenotypically tall and one quarter would be phenotypically small plants. So ratio going to be 3 to 1 and uh, 3 tall to 1 dwarf. So as you see the correct answer is answer B. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.